issue I have with this truck is these back brakes, they seem to drag because now that it's summertime, whenever I drive it, pull my trailer, these rims get really hot. And I'm thinking that might have been what caused this tire to blow out, which makes me mad because this one had really good tread left on it. And I had it on the uh, passenger side over there to help get through soft grass and muddy muddy areas on the trailer. So yeah, I'm gonna have the spare put on it for now. So I'm gonna jack this up and uh, take the drum off and take a look. It's been a, over a year since I've had these drums off. I'll take them off and see what's back in there. So take 15 16 knock all these lug nuts loose, and then we'll jack the truck up. All right, so I got the wheel off and I got the adapter ring. A lot of times these will come off with just the impact, uh, but I don't have a, a huge impact like a mechanic's garage does. I just got the portable ones. So I had to have my son either have the other wheel on the ground to hold it while it's in park. Uh, I got both of them up in the air. So as you see, when I try and put the wrench on it, it turns. So what you gotta do is get somebody sit in the truck and hit the brake pedal while you bust them off. So got that off. Now, naturally, unless you're in here every six months, these pads are gonna push up into the drum and they're gonna get sticky. So a lot of times you gotta hit them with a hammer, knock everything loose. It's moving pretty well. Hey, look at that. I like that. Normally you gotta go even more. Now since I'm not on this truck working on the back uh, brakes very often, I put on here, it has the uh, little star wheel. A lot of times you forget, unless you wanna take measurements with a micrometer or dial calipers, as you scroll in it makes the pads come out or retract in. And whichever way it does it on this side, it's the opposite on that side. So I just took a paint marker and marked that on there. So it's easy to remember. Whew. Make sure you don't breathe in all that dust. As you can see, a lot of brake dust in the bottom there. So I'm gonna set this down. Undo this. And what you wanna do is tap around. Sure, everything's good. Now, these pads look pretty good. They've got quite a bit of life left on them. For whatever reason they're dragging, I don't know. But this wheel gets super, super hot. I mean, it doesn't bubble and boil water when you squirt on it, but you squirt water on it, it dries off within 30 seconds from the heat. And when I hit the brakes on this, I'm having to go almost almost to the floor to get the brakes to engage so i don't know it seems like they're dragging because they get hot but if you have to push the brake pedal all the way to the floor then that's not the case but something is definitely dragging in here nonetheless so i'm gonna put this uh rotor back on and uh kind of check it and then what i'll do is i'll take the star wheel where are you at this one's a little harder because the drum's in the way. Uh, yeah, right there. That guy right there. Uh, roll that one out and make the pads come out a little bit. And then when you put the drum on, you can kind of feel it kind of grabbing on here and here. And that's how you get the feel for how much you need to run them out. So I'm gonna put that back on, wiggle it, see if there's any slop and then run the pads out just a little bit, put it back on, check it again, run the pads out, put the drum on, test it. That's kind of how I do it. I'm sure there's other ways of doing it, but that's what works for me. Uh, while you got this off, you want to hit with a uh, air gun. To, you see how it's coated in here, and that'll get all the dust out. You may want to put on a dust mask for that. So I'm gonna get, get my air gun out real quick. All right, so watch your eyes and mouth. Make 
the air gun gently blow that away. Give that a good blowing out. Get off and break that stuff in there. Jeez. So yeah, it looks much cleaner. Now you see this is kind of glazed. See how shiny that is? What you can do is hit that with a little bit of rough sandpaper. I'll take the glaze off of there. And a lot of times what I will do is uh, hit the inside of the drum with sandpaper or with an angle grinder, just to scuff that up a little bit so it grabs better. Because two, two matching glazed surfaces will not stop your vehicle very well. So I'm gonna hit that sandpaper and we'll see, see what it looks like. Actually, let's flip this over too. Oh yeah, she's real shiny. I bet that's where the heat's coming from. It is rubbing because it's lightly rubbing, and that will make it glaze. So I, that, that kind of makes sense. So yeah, let's scuff them up. So you can see I did that lightly. That's kind of the weight of the grinder. And also a very important thing. See how this, the brake pad hits from here over and it does not contact on this. A lot of times what you'll get, I had this on a few of my vehicles already. The shoe, brake shoe grinds down in there and then that leaves this a little ridge, which I can kind of feel that. So this is lower than this. This right here is a high spot all the way around. And when you try and pull your uh, brake drum off of there, it'll catch because the shoe's sitting down here and here's the ledge. This ledge here is this and this is here. And when you try and pull it off, it's in the way. So what I do is I take my grinder and I grind this lip at an angle so that the shoe is lower and when you pull your drums off, it comes right off. So always make sure that this, there's no ridge there. It doesn't come up. So I'm gonna hit this just in case. It's, it's starting to get a tiny bit. Okay, so now that's definitely lower, and when you pull your drum off, it'll it'll work fine. Now, before you put this back on, you want to clean it out with a uh, brake parts cleaner and a, uh, a clean rag. Get all the residue off of there. Same with your brake pads. Clean them off with brake parts cleaner, wipe them down with a clean cloth, and get everything nice and clean before you put it all back together. All right, so we've got this put on, and we'll go like that. And a little bit this way, this way. And it's got considerable play. Well, not play, but it's got room. See, it's got room in there. So that means they're not touching. They shouldn't be. And that explains why I have to put the pedal almost all the way to the floor to get the brakes to come on like normal. So I'm gonna hit the screw. This one says the scroll wheel up makes the shoes go in. So I'm going to roll it down, and that'll make the shoes go out. On the other side, it's I'm pretty sure it's the opposite. So I'm going to run this down here, and then put the uh, put the calipers back in. The uh, drum, sorry, can't think straight. Okay, so let me get this attached here. Where you at? Thumb screw. So I'm going to go. 
if your brakes have been maintained fairly recently, this wheel should come down. If not, you're going to have to put a screwdriver here and then hit the screwdriver with a hammer to kind of run this down. Because over the many, many, many heat cycles, uh, these get kind of rusted up and uh, kind of locked up from all the heat. So I'm going to hit that with a few times a screwdriver and run these out. All right, so I ran the, the star wheel, hit it down, and made almost two full circles, two full revolutions with it. I'm going to try and put it back on. It's less, less play than before, and when I get almost all the way in, there's very little play. So that's all the way in. We'll spin, spin it and listen for the rubbing. You can hear it rubbing. Because obviously the pads are stationary while you turn the wheel. Yeah, you can hear it rub, but it's not bad. Um, unless someone has another, a better way, uh, leave it down below in the comments. But what I've done over the years, years and years, is bring the shoes out until they're just barely touching like that and it's I don't know I'd almost run them out just a little more so that it's has a tiny bit of difficulty getting them on and uh, when you drive it around you hit the brakes and the, the calipers the shoes let go but that's got that's got some rub I think I'll go maybe another half turn and uh, see how it sounds. All right, so get the screwdriver down here. Tap the star wheel right there. Get in there. All right, that's almost a full turn, so let's try it. All right, very little play. And very little play going on. That's a lot more rubbing. It's, it's more rubbing, but it's still I mean, it's not, the, the thing still turns for a while afterwards, so I mean, it's not a lot. I definitely won't go any further with that, but I think that'll work for me. Like I said, once you use the brakes a couple times, it'll center itself out. Um, I think that's it. So I'll go ahead and put the adapter ring back on, put the wheels back on, and call it a day after I go to the other side, too. So, but that's pretty much how you adjust your shoes uh, on a lot of rear drum vehicles, especially on the Dodges. So this, this will apply to a lot of vehicles. So hopefully that helps somebody. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Thanks. Have a good one.